In this video, we are going to discuss metric prefixes. There are tons of metric prefixes, all of which are scaled to allow you to represent different multiples of 10. However, we are going to focus here on a key few ones that we're going to use most often in this course. The first one I've listed here is the conversion between kilograms and grams. So anytime you see a K out front, that's going to be 1,000 of the base unit. So the base unit for mass is actually grams. So we're going to be converting a lot between grams, which is a more practical unit to mass something in, in the sizes that we're working in in lab, to kilograms in order to do our calculations. Our next one down is between kilometers and meters. So notice we have a K out front once again, and so it's a thousand of the base unit. The base unit for length in the metric system is, is meters. So since we're always going to be working in meters, we're going to be reverting a lot of other metric prefixes into meters. So one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Our next one down is the idea that one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. So a meter stick is a pretty long stick, but most of the stuff that we're going to measure in lab is much smaller than a meter. So we'll initially measure in centimeters and then convert to meters when we do our calculations. So the little C there stands for centi, and anytime you see this, that C, it means one one hundredth of something. The same thing as a century is a hundred years. One meter is also equal to a thousand millimeters. So anytime you see the M up front, you are going to have one one thousandth of something, just like a millennium is a thousand years. That's why everyone was excited in the year 2000 or 2001, depending upon your argument, because that was the turn of a millennium, which was a thousand years. So anytime you see that M in front of your base unit, you think it is one one thousandth of the base unit. In one of the homework problems, you might see an M times an S, and that always confuses everybody. It's not an M times an S, it's a millisecond. So it's one one thousandth of a second. Our last one on the list here is one hour equals 3,600 seconds. Now most of us hopefully know that there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes an hour. So 60 times 60 is 3,600. It just saves you an extra step in the conversion process. Now, there are plenty of other metric prefixes that could be used, but these are the ones we're going to use the most in this particular course. I'm now going to go through an example problem doing a conversion between one metric unit and another metric unit. If you have a method you know from another course, please continue to use that if that works for you. This is the way I learned it and works for me personally. However, when you're doing your homework or an exam, you do need to show some sort of process. You can't just write down the answer. So the example problem we're going to work on is how many centimeters are in 5.25 meters. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a factor label bar. And the first purpose of the factor label bar is to separate your numerator from your denominator. So I'm going to look at what I'm trying to convert, which is the 5.25 meters. So I'm going to write 5.25 meters here. Now, if the unit had had a denominator, say the units were meters per second, the meter would go up top and the seconds would go on the bottom. So that's what I was talking about with separating the numerator and the denominator. I'm now going to go over to my conversion list. So one meter equals 100 centimeters, because over here I'm trying to convert from meters to centimeters. And the way I'm going to write my conversion factor is so that my meters cancel out top and bottom. So since one meter is on the numerator, I want to start with meters on the bottom down here. So one meter equals 100 centimeters. And this is no different than multiplying by one, because one meter equals 100 centimeters. So it's the same thing as multiplying by two divided by two, the two and the two cancel each other out and you're really multiplying by one. So this is the equivalent of that because one meter equals 100 centimeters. This meter and this meter cancel each other out because one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator, and we're left here with units of centimeters like we wanted. 
So I'm going to take 5.25 times 100, which becomes 525 centimeters, and that would be our answer. And notice I put both the number and the unit.